Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We'd like to talk to you today about this upcoming City of Fort Worth street reconstruction project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with all affected residents and other citizens who utilize these streets. However, due to the city's response to the current COVID-19 outbreak, that meeting has been canceled and this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, reviewing the scope of work, and providing you with information about the phasing and schedule of the construction. This project consists of three streets to be reconstructed. These include Mesa Verde Trail from Isle Royal Drive to Basswood Boulevard, Creek Fall Drive from Basswood Boulevard to Misty Ridge Drive, and Rosita Street from Glen Eden Drive to Gene Hills Lane. As this slide indicates, we will be performing a full replacement of the concrete pavement and underlying subgrade, as well as some work on the in-street sanitary sewer manholes to meet TCEQ requirements. In addition, we will also be reconstructing new sidewalks and ADA wheelchair ramps in areas on each street where they are needed. In this slide, you can see a picture of the current state of Mesa Verde Trail on the left, showing the existing concrete pavement in very poor condition. On the right is an example of a new concrete street, including new sidewalks and driveways. The final product for Mesa Verde and the other streets associated with this project won't look exactly like this, but you can expect something similar with the final product. Each road will be fully excavated to remove the existing concrete pavement, concrete curbs and gutters, and existing subgrade to a depth of almost 18 inches below the current road surface. The road will then be rebuilt with reinforced concrete pavement on all streets as well as new concrete curbs and gutters. New sidewalks and ADA wheelchair ramps are also being constructed in specific areas of all streets where they are needed. This slide shows our expected phasing and schedule for the construction weather dependent. Construction is expected to begin in July of this year and be completed in February of 2021. The construction phasing on each street will consist of excavating the existing street, preparing the subgrade, and placing the new concrete pavement, completing sidewalks, ADA wheelchair ramps, and reconstructing driveways, and then performing the final cleanup. In order to efficiently utilize their various crews, the contractor will stagger the start on each street by one or two months so that when one crew has finished their task, they can move to the next street and begin. For example, the demolition and excavation crew will start on Rosita Street, then move to Creekfall Drive, and finally to Mesa Verde Trail. The concrete paving crew will follow behind them, and so on until the project is complete. A traffic control firm will provide the contractor with a specialized traffic control plan for use during the upcoming construction. This plan will provide for the safe and efficient routing of traffic in order to limit the impact on those who use these streets regularly. The contractor will provide adequate signage to indicate when lanes will be closed and where detours and alternative routes will be required. I would like to finish this presentation by presenting some frequently asked questions regarding this construction project and providing answers. Will I still have access to my driveway during construction? For the most part, yes. Access to your driveway will only be restricted when the driveway is being reconstructed and when new pavement is being placed directly in front of your property. You will be given notice by the contractor and the city when these construction activities can be expected. Will I lose water to my property? No, you should not lose water service to your property as we are not performing any work on the existing water utilities. In the unlikely event that a shutoff will be necessary, you will be given sufficient notice prior to the shutoff. Will any roads be closed during construction? No, the road will never be completely closed to through traffic during this project. While access may be limited to certain areas of the street during working hours, residents will have access to their homes at most times. The only time when access to your house will be disrupted is when your driveway is being replaced or the new pavement is being placed directly in front of your property. You will be notified by the contractor in advance regarding any disruptions to your access. Will trees on my property be removed? Unfortunately, there are some trees very near to the existing street that will have to be removed in order to provide the best quality concrete, curb and gutter, and sidewalk as possible. If you have a tree that is slated to be removed, you will be notified by the contractor prior to removal. How long will this project take? The total contract time is 210 calendar days. How wide will my new driveway be? 
The contractor will be matching existing driveway widths unless they are currently less than 11 feet wide. This concludes the presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen and watch. It is unfortunate that we were not able to meet all of you in person due to public health concerns and discuss any comments or questions that you may have, but we would still like to hear from you. The phone number and email address for the city's project manager is provided here. Please feel free to contact him if you so choose. Finally, the contact information for the city's construction inspector is also listed. He will be your first point of contact for all questions and concerns you may have during construction. Thank you once again. We appreciate your patience with us as we move through the construction process and we look forward to hearing from you.